So I'm very pleased to announce uh, from Brainy Deep the Urchin Kit to build your own Urchin Extruder for your 3D printer. So let's have a look at what's inside. So this is the uh, basic kit right here. So we'll start with the uh, stepper motor itself. It's a size 11 uh, stepper motor. It does have a reasonable long cable, but it's unterminated for now, so you can extend that to your requirements. Uh, the worm gear is already pre-mounted, and there's a thrust bearing inside there that's already been pre-lubricated as well. So you're good to go as far as the motor is concerned. Uh, the screws that hold the motor on, as well as the washers, and uh, there's a few extra washers in here to act as spacers, as two of these screws set the filament crush size, so it's adjustable. So that's all pre-mounted onto that motor, so you won't lose it. And yeah, not much more to do with that. Uh, inside this bag, the... Uh, drive shaft with um, has been hobbed and turned down so there's uh, two shoulders that set where the bearing and the gear sit and this gear as well has been pre-lubricated for you so you don't have anything to uh, to do further on that and just uh, it's kept in its own bag so not everything gets all greasy and then the last bag has just uh, various hardware, so we've got the M4 uh, idler bolt and a thumb screw and the bearings here, so three of these go on the extruder itself, two of them for the drive shaft, one is the uh, crush bearing, the other two can be used as just spares, um, but they can also be used as a, a thick washer if you're doing a lot of uh, retractions and you're finding the shaft falls out you can just apply them in this way so by putting that bearing in there it stops that from falling out and then in the rest in the bag is just the nuts that come in there um, so for mounting the extruder down into something and screws and washers for that so as you can see pretty much the um, the only thing you have to add at this point is the chassis and you can build your own urchin extruder. The hot ends supported, so it's a typical J-head slot mount through here, so fairly well supported there as well. If you need any uh, changes to any of this stuff, give me a, give me a quick email. Um, I'm now looking at mounts for other printers, so let me know what you plan on uh, using the, the extruder for and I can plan accordingly. Or if you want any modifications or anything like that, um, just give, get in touch.